How we do guys? Um, we have a little project today. Um, we're going to be fitting the Morimoto headlights to the 370. Um, I've already stripped out the headlights. Um, this is your old unit. Um, I've started stripping off the bits that you're going to need. And this is the new unit. I'm going to leave the blue film on until we've uh, got the headlight ready to go in just to protect it. So let's have a look at the bits and pieces that we're going to have to take off. Okay, first couple of items you need to strip off. Uh, I've already removed three screws from this little piece. You're going to need that. And then you've got two little screws that need taken out of here. You're going to need this little bracket. Some of these screws are quite rusty, so be prepared for a little bit of uh, aggro getting some of them out. So that's the first items off that we need. This is the new unit. So this piece just pops back onto there. Reuse the screws. So they go on there. Now when you remove this bit, you take three this, this part out, you remove three screws. You're only going to re replace two because they've decided to put a plastic lug in here. So it makes it a bit easier to lock it in place. And then just pop two screws back into here. And do those up. So this is the brackets fitted, you can see it's got a little locating plug there, so two screws and the two screws back in for the headlight mount and that's pretty much ready to go back in the car. link wire to run from both headlights this is for the DRL it looks like it's going to need extending to go back to get a live but we'll get into that in a bit so basically I'm running it across the car from headlight bezel to headlight bezel I'm going to cable tie it on once I know we've got enough to get to the other headlight and if you come around and have a look down here everything goes back in its little home so basically you're plugging the harness into the car's wiring harness and the plug straight back into the back of the headlight from the main harness um, this is where you're connecting the link wire so it runs back across the car and then you've got your sequential lights. Um, I've unplugged it at the moment. We believe unplug gives you sequential lights. Plugged together will give you ordinary uh, indicator lights. But we'll get into that in a bit later as well. Okay, so here's my link wire running across from the other side. Um, I've just tucked it down by the side of the headlight. Now we're going to go into the back. We're just going to bolt this back in and then I'll show you how to connect all the wire in there. So, there's your little plug from the main harness. As you can see, a little plug into there. Snap it into place. This is your main one. This goes to the actual harness on here. It can only go on the one way. I'm just having a guess. There you go. And then the cross wire that I've run across the car, I've brought through the side of the headlight and that literally plugs into this one here. A little lock clip at the top to keep it all together. And then I suggest just Cable tying that back up to there. 
and then as I say we're disconnecting these at the moment um, so the next bit you're gonna have to put this to the fuse box so you need to remove all this now you see your fuse box so there's two little tabs right at the top just down in there two little tabs push them forward and then pull don't be frightened to really pull it up because it's got a lot of loom on the bottom that you need to pull up to release so once you've got the fuse box up there's two little tabs right at the bottom you need to push them in and then pull the lid and it will fly off exposing the fuse box now I'm just going to test which one of these goes live with the ignition and then we're going to pull one of these fuses out and we're going to add this in and piggyback it and it looks like we're going to have to extend this wire to reach so we removed the first 10 amp fuse down as you're looking at the fuse box when it's in the car turn around and it's the first 10 amp fuse on the left that you want to add this to um, we've cut the loom because we're going to extend it because it's not long enough to run round for us and then that just pushes in there once it's all connected um, I'm more likely to just drill a little hole through the side of the fuse box cover so we can run the wire out safely and then just join it all back together. Three, two, one. Here we go! There we go, one set of Morimoto headlights fitted. Um, overall, not that bad to fit, to be quite honest. As long as you're confident with your wiring, um, you're okay with the spanners and the sockets, it's not that hard. About three and a half hours, I would say, to do it. Um, overall, I'm really chuffed with them.